In this video, we are going to continue and go ahead and build our Wordle server, which will enable us to help us to solve the Wordle puzzle. Firstly, we will have to solve the first word. Before we solve the first word, we will need to load the list of Wordle words. To do so, we will go to Wordle over here and we will copy all this. We will go ahead and click Ctrl C. We'll go ahead to uh, to notepad and we'll go ahead and search for cigar. C I G A R over here. Cigar is the first word in this list. So we're going to click cigar and drag. All the way at to Zymic. And then we are going to click on Control C, and we are going back to uh, uh, to our scratch. So after we create some variable, uh, we go ahead and go back over here. We might need to create some variables after we create these all all words. We will need to be creating all these variables to be local, and the remaining variables from this list to be global. You can pause the video to check which variable should be local and which variable should be global variables. Then we'll set I to one, set temp to uh, a blank. We don't need this. Repeat 1, 11,575 times, which is 2315 multiplied by five, the length of each word. We need to set temp to join temp multiplied by letter this equation of all words. I'll go ahead and uh, show it to you. Something uh, first we drag in a plus, drag in i minus 2, uh, drag in i over 5, uh, drag it into ceiling off, drag it into a 3 times, and put it together. So anyway, we're going to put it back. And if i is a multiple of 5, add temp to words and remaining words, and set temp to 0. We we'll also need to create several lists in case I forgot to mention remaining words, scores, words, and a private list attempt. To do so, we'll go ahead and type in the name and select for this sprite only. Next, we, we, once we add that this have temp to the list, we have to set the temp to a blank and after that, we have to change i by 1. Now let's go to the hard part, finding out the average. We'll click when green flag click, wait 3 seconds and create a block called solve. So we'll delete all of score, set clone ID to 0, minimum length to 10,000, repeat and 232 times, we'll change clone ID by 1 and create a clone of myself. Now when we start as a clone, we'll set the current word to a specific word. It depends with the ID of the clone, so each clone will do a specific range. Specifically, clone 1 will do 1 to 10, clone 2 will do 11 to 20, and so on. Now repeat 10 times, we'll be setting I2 to 0, which is another uh, uh, index variable, delete all of the temporary li uh, list, and add 243 zeros to the list. Then we'll repeat for the length of this remaining word. We'll change I2 by 1. And we'll set the actual word to item I2 of remaining words. Set I3 to 0. Set case number to 1. And repeat 5 times. Change I3 by 1. If letter I3 of actual word is letter I3 of current word, then this would be, be a green letter in Wordle. So we have to change case number by twice of this. Uh, twice of this value, which is simply 3 to the power of i3 minus 1. You'll need to round it to avoid getting funny answers. Otherwise, if uh, the actual word contains the corresponding letter, then it will be a yellow letter, so we will we'll only increase it by one time to this value. Then in the end, we'll replace item case number of temp with item case number of temp plus 1 to account for the extra uh, case. Next, we'll set average to 0, i2 to 0, and 243 times, change i2 by 1, 
and change average by the square of I2. Lastly, we need to set average to average over the length of remaining words. This might seem strange from the usual definition of average, but this is because that we need to uh, we need to consider a weighted average instead. Next, we'll add join average a space and the current word to scores. If the minimum length of grade is greater than the average, then we'll set the minimum length to average and we'll set the minimum word to the current word. And if the item number of the current word is 2315, which will only occur if the ID of the clone is 232, so it's supposed to uh, go ahead and try from 2311 to 2315. Okay, works. Then we'll delete the clone. After that, we'll set the count word to item, item number of count word in words plus one of the of words. And we'll delete the cl clone at the very end. Now let's try and go uh, and run this code. I'll be showing some variables, specifically the scores variables. We don't need this too, which will also give us a measure of how much the task is complete. We'll show the minimum length and minimum word. Now let's click the green flag. The clones have completed their first um their first iteration, and hence we can see that currently the minimum word is arise. Uh, so arise will be the best word out of the um, out of a subset of these words. It might not be the best word overall because there are some words that have not been counted yet. As you can see, all the words have already been counted, or 2,315, and we can see the average scores for each of them. So for example, for Maxim, it's 426, for Shrub, it's 233, and so on. And over here, we can see that the minimum length is 61.000864, which corresponds to the word her race. So this means that race is the uh, best word in terms of the minimum uh, average number of words remaining. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you and please uh, subscribe to the channel.